about Alvista, it was one thing that you need to change. And uh, you're going to have one minute for this question. Hi everyone, again my name is Navi, I'm an interview associate student student by the Democratic Process Party. My favorite thing about Isla Vista is really just the community and the communities that you can find here and the communities that you can build here. I have really found my own community here through the niche that I have created on this campus and I think that's beautiful and I love that all our friends are within such a close proximity. However, I constantly feel unsafe on this campus, or not on this campus, in Isla Vista and that is not okay. No student should have to feel unsafe on this campus. No student should have to feel unsafe to walk down the street to their home. Uh, to address that, I do intend to highly work uh, on public safety in Isla Vista next year if elected. I would like to create a permanent safe space in IV on weekend nights in particular. If a student is ever feeling harassed or if there's a hate crime or if there's a sexual assault, the student would have such a place to go to. Where I, And I would hope to work with the RCSGD, the Women's Center, the Santa Barbara Rape Crisis Center, CAPS as well, in order to uh, have resources and support for the students in that safe space. Um, and that, um, again, my name is Navi, and I'm ready to be your associate student, student body president with the Democratic Process Party. Uh, yeah. What is your favorite thing about Alavisa? There was one thing that needs to change. Hi everyone, once again, my name is Allie Guffey and I'm running for AS President with the Open People's Party. Um, my favorite part about Isla Vista is the people. I love everyone in IV, I love the people um, that go to UCSB, I love the people that are just community members. Like I mentioned before, I've done a lot of work with the local houseless and I really feel a connection to everyone that lives in Isla Vista. Um, but as previously mentioned, safety is a huge issue on our, in uh, the Isla Vista community. Um, uh, OPP members have worked to secure lighting grants in IED. We actually received a $100,000 lighting grant to improve lighting on DP, Sabado, and Trigo. And next year, if elected, I want to continue working to create long-term improvements in our community. For instance, the creation of a community service district. Right now, IV is an unincorporated area, and we rely entirely on support from the county. The creation of such a district would actually allow us to provide for ourselves our own resources um, and uh, the opportunity to make the improvements that we desperately need. So, once again, my name is Allie Guffey, and I'm running for AS president with the Open People's Party. violence and uh, safety in Isla Vista. I want to give both candidates another minute to kind of talk about that topic. Ali, you can go first. Sorry, did you say? Sexual violence in Sorry, I'm still sitting down. Um, so, uh, as previously mentioned, uh, safety is a huge issue in IV, and sexual assault and violence is particularly pertinent. We've had a series of really violent and um, publicized sexual assaults occur on our campus this year, but this is not a UCSB issue. This is a, a, a local issue, a state issue, a national issue. This is not an, an issue that affects all of us. And uh, as a senator, I actually worked with um, our uh, candidate for uh, external vice president of local affairs, Beatrice Contreras, to write a, uh, to call for a change to our sexual assault policies on a UC-wide level. And this was before um, the highly publicized sexual assaults occurred on our campus. I believe in a pre, like we need to uh, look for a preemptive way of addressing these issues, not a reactive way. And um, the resolution that we wrote actually did result, we had um, UC actually just a free afford, uh, reform their sexual assault policies to create more concrete definitions of consent and other very pertinent issues that affect this uh, extremely important topic. So once again, my name is Ali Guffey and I'm running to be your next Associated Students President with the Open People's Party. Another option, in, sorry, another uh, ability to talk about sexual violence and safety on campus. So I believe that uh, this is a very serious issue. Um, oh, sorry, again, my name is Navi and I'm to be your associate student, student body president with the Democratic Process Party. So again, sex, uh, sexual violence and safety is a very, very critical issue and a very sensitive topic. Um, as uh, as just a student here, I've already been safe zone trained, I believe, maybe like four or five times now, and I think that is one of the first steps. Our executives, our senators, our any student and associate students needs to be safe zone trained, and not just one of those like 30 minute safe zone trains, no. No, it needs to be an extensive safe zone training, and I believe that's where it starts. I believe all our police, our UCPD, our IV control needs to be safe zone trained, and again, not just that basic 30 minute safe zone training. 
Um, in addition, um, the, safe, the safe spaces that I just mentioned, I believe would be very critical in helping create a more safer environment in Isla Vista as well. Um, and in addition, uh, I have also already worked on a sexual assault campaign last year when I was an officer of the president. I worked with our last President Sophia Armin in, in holding a sexual assault campaign with numerous organizations across this campus. Again, my name is Navi and I'm ready to be your associate student, student body president with the Democratic Process Party. <laughs> So we've talked a little about Deltopia and sexual violence in this up. The Independent recently came out with an article titled, Is IV Dead? Referring to the culture of Isla Vista. Um, what do you think about that question? Is the culture of Isla Vista dead, or what can we do to change it? You have two minutes. Yeah, no, sorry, Nabi, Nabi. Hi everyone, again, my name is Nabi, and I'm ready to be your associate student, student body president with the Democratic Process Party. Um, is the culture in IV dead? I don't believe so, and I think that it is, it is a shame that we are being accused of our culture being dead. Um, I think we as students have a bright and lively community in Isla Vista, and I think I personally love the community and I love the atmosphere in Isla Vista. However, I do think that there is a high sense of brave culture in Isla Vista. I think that our community is very unsafe and transphobic and homophobic and racist and I believe that there are often parties thrown that are racist and sexist and that is not okay and those issues need to be addressed um, and in, or in order to address those I do hope to continue a sexual assault campaign that I did work on last year and I hope to continue it on through my presidency as well if I were elected. I also think that again um, we need to be safe zone training our police, our UCPD. I think that uh, our, my external uh, Vice President of Local Affairs, Daniela Bayon, also wants to create um, signs throughout Isla Vista that list resources for students, such, such as the Santa Barbara Rape Crisis Center number, uh, the CAPS number, the Women's Center number, and I think things like that will also help students if they don't know where to go or don't know a resource. Uh, that would also be helpful as well. Um, again, my name is Navi, and I'm going to be your next associate student, student body president with the Democratic Process Party. <laughs> Um, is the culture in IV dead? No, absolutely not is the answer. Um, but what is our culture and what as students are we creating that culture to be? Uh, we have a very strong presence in IV along with our non-student community members. And we have a very powerful say in what we want our culture and our community to look like. Uh, I believe the events of Deltopia are, are evident of what other people perceive our culture to be like, and that is not who we are. I know so many beautiful people, um, students, non-students on this campus, and we have such a, a, a powerful and beautiful culture, and I feel like some of the, um, the negativity that comes from it is, is from, it stems from ignorance, uh, and I believe that education is the key to overturning that ignorance. Um, in regards to uh, educating students, I believe that the creation of more resources in IV in the community for students to have greater access to is pertinent to sustaining a culture that we can all be proud of. Um, this includes uh, creation of a sobering center in IV so that students have a safe space um, when uh, they are in need of um, those resources over the weekend and things like that. Also creating more access to um, uh, counselors or um, other services that can be pertinent to students uh, in, Isla, in Isla Vista over the weekend as well. Like I said, we have a beautiful culture and community and it is up to us to sustain it and to perpetuate it. So again, my name is Ali Guthy and I'm running for AS President with the Open People's Party. Alex, come back to you. Right. I should stay standing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel like there are benefits to UCSB becoming a member of USSA? Continue to be a member of USSA. Why or why not? How long do I have these questions? Uh, two minutes. Um, so, again, my name is Ali Guthy. I'm running for AS president with the Open People's Party. Oh, sorry, this thing keeps getting stuck. Um, as a senator right now, we are currently um, being uh, presented with a bill to withdraw from the Uni uh, Un United States Students Association which I believe is a powerful tool for students to lobby on a national level, for students to come together and really create change as a cohesive unit, because students have so much power to direct change. Um, 
However, membership in the association uh, is complicated. Uh, we are also members of the University of California Students Association. We pay $150,000 a year into the University of California Students Association. Uh, we are the highest paying uh, school in that membership. The next highest is UCLA, which pays roughly $80,000. Uh, membership in UCSA gives us membership to USSA. We are members of USSA through UCSA. So withdrawing from USSA does not mean we are not members. It means we are no longer direct members. We will still be able to attend conferences through USSA. We will still be able to become board members and leaders through that association. We would just not be paying $10,000 to be direct members. And I believe that money should go to uh, funding that directly benefits UCSB students. We can pay for lobbying efforts for our own students to take more to the Student Lobby Conference or other conferences of in, uh, in uh, California or other conferences we want to go to. So again, withdrawing from US USSA does not mean I do not support that organization. I think it is a very powerful tool for students. I just believe we should redirect the, that financial resources to students that, do, to, to uh, initiatives that directly benefit UCSB students. Uh, once again, my name is Ali Guffey and I'm running for AS President with the Open People's Party. <laughs> Body president with Democratic Process Party. So I am currently a board of direct. I'm currently sitting on the board of directors at on United States Student Association, and I have attended. I have attended every single one of their conferences since my second year here, um, and it has been the most empowering experience of my life. I'll just leave it at that. Start, start right there. USSA is one of the most important organizations in this nation. Student power can move mountains, and through USSA, we can build coalitions and networks with students across the state, thus building power in numbers. When we have power in numbers, we can make demands to our legislatures that can also move mountains and make, make, shift waves, make waves for the student movement. And through that, we can reinvest in higher education. USSA has lobbied our national legislatures. They have helped make, uh, make moves when it comes to Pell, things like the Pell Grant. With the Higher Education, Re Higher Education Act, reauthorization of the Higher Education Act coming up in the upcoming school year, it is especially critical that we remain in USSA to mobilize around the reauthorization of HEA. And as, as, a board, as a board member of USSA, I actually have to say that even though we would be members through US, UCSA, there would no longer be a UCSB delegation. That is a shame. Through USSA, through the people of Middle Eastern descent and South Asian caucus, was where I found my was where I really found my place and really gained consciousness and really learned about student issues at the national level. If we were to lose USSA, we would be we would not be allowing students um, ha to have that opportunity in the future, and that I believe is the biggest shame. Uh, on top of that, again, we would not be able to build networks and build coalitions with students throughout the nation, and that would be again. Uh, really uh, disheartening to the student movement. If we are to make changes, if we are to demand uh, the reinvestment of higher education, we need to build power in numbers. We need to build coalitions. We need to build networks across the nation, and we need to demand changes from the federal government. And again, my name is Navi, and I'm running to be your associate student, student body president of the Democratic Process Party. <laughs> Sacramento, preventing that cut. 
So I believe in OPP because I believe in this history of tangible change and action that directly benefits you. And as president, I want to continue that legacy. Once again, my name is Allie Guthy, and I'm running to be your next AS president with the Open People's Party. Democratic Process Party. I ran with Democratic Process Party three years in a row for quite a few reasons. We are the, the we are the party you will see year round, regardless of election. But not just, not just in the Senate room, not just in AS main office. You will see us at organizations. You will see us at community events. You will see us at the Safe Zone training, at the, at the, at the Student Commission on Racial Equality, at Black Student Union. From, Everywhere. On top of that, we are about direct, tangible action. Uh, when we saw that students were hungry and didn't have money for food, what did we do? We created the Associated Students Food Bank. Yeah. Yeah. We saw that students didn't have money for textbooks, what did we do? We created a textbook marketplace that brought out over hundreds of students at a time. We are the DP party, are, are the students that have been there, have been at the front lines of change since day one of their experience here. And my name is Navi, and I'm running for DP. I'm running for president of the Democratic Process Party. Yeah. Yeah. Navi, come back to you. Um, what are your plans to make AS more self-sufficient and not relying on student fee increases? I'm gonna give you two minutes for that. Sure. Oh. What are your plans to make AS more self-sufficient and not rely on student fee increases? So I think the root of this. Oh, hi. My name is Navi. I'm running for president of the Democratic Process Party. I think really the root of this question goes back to affordability and the disinvestment of higher education. The reason students began to really tax themselves for these services and for associate students was because. We started to be, uh, we have to now pay tuition and we can no longer um, depend on administration or the government to pay for our education. We are paying more for our education than the state of California is, is itself. And as a public institution, that is a shame and that's not how it, it should be. Um, so therefore, I believe to really work, to really address this issue, we need to go back to the root of the issue and that is affordability and the investment of higher education. Uh, so again, I would suggest Again, continuously lobbying our state and national government, we should be doing that through organizations like UCSA and like organizations like USSA. We should be creating networks and coalitions statewide and nationwide to work and address these issues. Uh, we should be demanding that our administration reprioritize things like the Multicultural Center, things like Office of Student Life, things that provide resources and support for students on this campus. However, at this time, because the administration is not prioritizing these things, students are forced to continuously tax themselves, and that is not okay, and we should not be setting that precedent. However, because of the state of education at this rate, because education is at a crossroads, we are forced to do so. So in order, again, to better, or to not have students pay for, their, pay for AS anymore, again, we would have to really get down to the root of the issue. Thank you again. My name is Navi, and I'm ready to be your associate student, student body president with the Democratic Process Party. Could you repeat the question one more time? Sure. What are your plans to make AS more self sufficient and not reliant on student fee increases? Uh, yeah, once again, my name is Allie Guffey, and I'm running to be your next AS president with the uh, Open People's Party. Um, student fees, uh, like I mentioned before, we pay $181.44 every quarter into this association. That's roughly $600 a year, and that is a lot of money. Just as uh, my opponent says, we pay, uh, there's been a significant disinvestment from higher education, and this has resulted on putting an extra burden on students to pay for their own um, resources and things that they need, and that is, that is not okay. Um, one of the things that I would hope to do in order to address this issue, uh, one of which is we, we are working right now to create um, LED lighting in the association. 
while this uh, may initially be a higher investment cost, the savings that we will make from this will um, be more beneficial, beneficial for the association as well as making the association more environmentally friendly. Um, moreover, I think that we need to reinvest the funding that we make directly to students. We need to put this money right back into student pockets, which is why I personally am very passionate about creating more student jobs on campus in the local community because everyone deserves to have the opportunity to have a job that will allow them to have a greater path to employment after college. Um, and this way that the fees you are paying are going directly back into student pockets. Um, once again, my name is Allie Guffey and I'm running to be your next AS President with the Open People's Party. So last question, um, what have you done and what will you do for the underrepresented communities on this campus? Sorry about that. Two minutes. What's up? 
up, everyone? Again, my name is Navi. I'm running to be your next associate student, student body president with the Democratic Process Party. I am here today because I have been working on the ground since day one of attending this university. Whether or not I am elected, I will continue to work for students and by the students because I am passionate and genuinely care about the student experience. Whether it's through student affairs, I just I, whether it's through student affairs or through student or through Senate or through an executive position, I have constantly cared about the student community. I've constantly worked with and worked for students on this campus. I have organized with students. I have been on the front lines of change on this campus. I have been at the rallies. I have been at your meetings. I have been present, and I will continue to do so, and I will continue to act as a vessel for all students on this campus. I will continue to act as the vehicle for your change. I will continue to help students and continue to work for students. Um, again, my name is Navi, and I'm ready to be your next associate student, student body president with the Democratic Process Party. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give a big hand to both of our candidates.